<laughs> babe, babe, babe. Babe, chill. Don't throw it up that way. Aim it away. Aim it away. Yo. Hi guys, we're back with another video. Well, we're back with another cooking, cooking video. video. So what are we cooking today? So today we're making um, Tanya's like special dish, which Why is... Why would you say special though? Because she always made this. It's your spaghetti <laughs> bolognese. You haven't made this in ages, so it's good that we're making it today. The last time I made it was when we was at his house for his family during Ramadan time. That was yes, ages so that... ago. If you want to watch that vlog, it'll be up here. Make sure you click it. But yeah, we're going to do spaghetti. All right, do you want to start? Guess how we're doing spaghetti. It is so quick. When me and Ryan moved out, yeah, for uni, yeah. Last year we had, no, no like two, two years, years ago. ago, we had this quite a lot. This a was lot. like a every week sort of thing. <laughs> Tanya would make this like... It would last In long half long. an hour, you'd make it... How long would this take? Yeah, half an hour. Half an hour, and half an hour you can make it and it'll last for like ages as well, yeah. so... Obviously, I've already started... I've already washed my hands now, so I'm just going to start basically cutting this down. How fine do you want me to cut this Okay, down? because this isn't meat, we want it to be... Thin chopped, please. Yeah. So I did say that um, it's gonna take half an hour, but with right hands cutting skills, it might take 40 to 45 minutes, but it's okay, you know? You gotta train your men while they're young. Fam, look at this cutting, bro. This is some fine cutting, but then you have to cut it again, yeah? Are you mad? Look at this. Yeah, Damn, I can't babe. get any more, man. I'm While right hand's doing that, I got my big pan. We're gonna put um, probably like three spoons of oil. I'm crying. I know. I was crying just when I was peeling them for you, so imagine. Um, no, just do as much of them until I say stop, then stop. Okay, that's one, that's one whole onion done. Shit, can we have the fan or something on? Because my eyes are just going yeah. crazy. Oh, I can't even see and I'm chopping, I'm so scared I'm going like, to cut my hands. Just looks better. It's so much easier cooking when you have a partner with you. It's so much quicker, isn't it? Yeah. Well, well, really, it's not that quicker. I didn't want to cut the onions because I'm wearing mascara oh. and I didn't want my <laughs> mascara to run. <laughs> but oh my god, you're actually crying. But I'm doing a real good job though. Look how quickly like I've really chopped. All right, guys, I've cut two and a half onions as fine as possible. Anyways, while the oil is getting ready and my hand is cutting the onions, we're gonna use garlic and ginger. Of course, I don't understand people who don't cook the garlic and ginger. We are gonna start doing a cooking series. You know, I'm gonna do a little playlist, yeah? Of like all our cooking See. videos. I want it to slowly, slowly change to cooking with Ryan and Tanya. Once whereas, it's become a proper real chef, in it? Yeah. Like? Once this, once I've become, once Ryan has become good at this, we are gonna change the name. Very good. Excellente. Um, you don't, you need to cut all the way. Like, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. It should make a sizzling sound. Anyways, we're gonna just wait for it to get the onions go brown. Add your salt, add your garlic, add your ginger, and let it all simmer. This is the garlic. You don't obviously need that much. When you're a professional like me. <laughs> gonna do the same with the ginger. You know, if you do this again and your whole finger chops off, yeah. Just know it's for the YouTube video, yeah. Just know. Wait, they look they die. Frickin' neck tan, what are you doing, man? This is what I do! Yeah? Anyway, I'm gonna quickly mix all of this up. So what we're gonna be using is some garam masala, some bay leaf to get rid of the smell, some cinnamon to also get rid of the smell, hot chilli powder and haldi powder. I'm, mi I'm missing mixed um, powder, but it's okay because we don't really need it. Garam masala onto the spoon. Let me see. Alright, go on, add that in. One bay leaf, one cinnamon. One so hot chilli, yeah. Bit more, bit more. That smells quite decent, you know, it's looking and... This mixture, we're gonna add the beef. Wait. Anyways, guys, we have now just made the mixture. So this is gonna be basically the base. And now Rahan's just gonna add in the minced meat. So we're just gonna lid up our beef. Uh, let one side cook, let it get all brown, and then we're gonna come back to it, flip it over, and let the other side get brown. On this bit is not basically about taste as much because obviously with spaghetti we're gonna add um, the sauce and stuff like that. So it's just basically about getting the meat, uh, minced meat cooked. Yeah, go on. You're gonna cut some peppers because I love peppers. 
Yeah, which uh, there's only one pepper left from the old one, so we're just gonna cut whatever's left. Huh. Yeah, just cut it however you want it cut. <laughs> well, I'm gonna dice it though. That's how I love cutting it. No, into little, little balls. Yeah, I love cutting like Gone. that. But don't take too long. Yeah. Actually, you can take your time. Uh, guys, I totally messed up. I forgot to press record. But anyway, it's gonna ten. be hard doing a second round of my jokes. But we basically made um, the beef. It's done now. It shouldn't look that good. It should legit just be brown all the way. That's all you will seeping out. Please don't mind me. Don't put three spoons of oil. Put one and a half. I'm gonna dollop that, yeah. Yeah. Round the middle. Oh shoot! Did someone say peppers? We said peppers. I love peppers. I wish I had more peppers, but guys, I was going to get more peppers, but I was like, you know what? I always leave them in the fridge and then they just go off. So I didn't really want to buy a new one, but it's okay. We move. We move. Did someone say... Tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Leave that in. Let it simmer. We have one big duty to do with the washing up. Whoa. So remember when I told you um, about the tin opener that we don't have one? Yeah. Oh, you have to open them with the knife. <laughs> yeah, with the well, kidney beans. Guys, I keep Basically, forgetting. This is how we open it, yeah. We normally stab this through, yeah, a couple times with a knife, yeah. Then it ends up poking out a little hole, and then we use something else yeah, as a leverage to. Um, I use a bottle opener to pull it up. Oh my god, back low. Guys, nice, so we had a little bit of a problem because our um, battery died so that meant we kind of had to delay the cooking what Ryan Hen did while I was gone is open up the red kidney beans this is how he opened it with a knife low heat for 10-15 minutes and then make the spaghetti and we shall be finished because that's what it looks like whoa looking good yeah so I'm just gonna put a lid on this and we're just going to wait for another 10 minutes while them red kidney beans get cooked thoroughly. Alright guys, I'm basically making the um, the spaghetti now. So you just put boiling water and then slowly, slowly just let that basically break in and ease into the pan. Um, I'm going to leave that on quite high heat because I want it done quite quick. Yeah. So, how do you do it? Yeah, make sure you don't pop your eye like that what? guy. What? It's a popping one. I think so, I don't know. Oh, oh Open nice. Yeah. Popping, popping bottles, yeah, yeah, Tanya. Popping bottles in the ass. Yo, how do I like, do Like, three, six. No, 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 you got to untangle it. Yeah! No, 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 chill, 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 chill. <laughs> babe, babe, babe. Babe, chill, don't throw it up that way. Aim it away, aim it away. Hey yo, let me see that. <laughs> Cheese! Okay. All right, baby. As you guys notice, we clean as we go because later on, it and just gets so fight. long and like no one could be bothered and we always just end up fighting. Yeah. But um, yeah, just clean as you go, man. It's so much simpler. As the food is now done, that's my hands. That's mine. My hands are shaking because I'm so hungry. Yo, food sir. Hi guys. I am so super hungry. Did you show my shot off the top? Yeah, yeah, I already done all of it. Okay, lit. I'm just gonna take one bite so you guys can see if we like it. Oh, and you go first, babe. Sorry, I'm so hungry. What are you thinking? Mmm, fucking. Okay. How do you even put it in your mouth? Mm. What was I gonna say? Um, we ain't got forks. So remember. Food is so good. All right, guys. Let's give you a little bit of story time. Why I love this dish and why it's my favorite dish. It's not my favorite, but it's one. It's up there in it. I think one out of ten. But, back in the day when me and my husband were living our student lives, we had no money, we had nothing, and we just complained about money and that. Um, no food, nothing, and everything was so hard. So, and we didn't like asking for people for help, if, like, you know what I mean? And we didn't go tell people our problems. This, basically, was such an easy dish. It was so cheap, like, you can buy spaghetti for 20p. From Asda, we used to get from Asda. The meal, like, we could have saved more money. It was the area we were in, it was more like the demographics were less like... No, we couldn't get halal. Of halal meat, yeah. meat basically. Mm. Halal meat. <laughs> halal meat, but um, there was one guy, yeah, but he was charging so much and we thought, you know what, we'd rather just go to um, 
the local which was Asda mm -hmm. and Asda had that their halal section and their halal section was a bit expensive but had a much more of a variety than what the Arab guy was selling. Mm -hmm. This was such a cheap dish that would last us for so long. Not so long, like a day or two, but it yeah. would fill us up proper. Proper, like we can continue our day. Like, we'll have this for breakfast, lunch. Well, I'll have this for breakfast, lunch, dinner. But like, back then, yeah, we were struggling for food like so bad because we were struggling with money and everything, you know? So we used to have like noodles, oh, quite a lot. Fry up noodles, peng. I lost so much weight during that time period. Like, but I didn't feel like, oh, unhealthy and stuff. I just continued my day as normal, even if I had food. I just didn't have a variety of food. You know what I mean? Can One I quickly say, break. there's a stereotype, like, people will be like, how could you be so broke and stuff like, just because we're married. But we got married when we were in school, like, in university, you know what I mean? We were still young, so why can't we, just as a married couple, also live the student life? Do you know what I mean? Anyway, as you can see, Ryan eats so much quicker than me. I'll back to the otherwise I would have kept talking. But we're going to quickly do an outro because... We're going to quickly do an outro. <laughs> we're like clapping and shit. Anyways, yeah. guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you want to see more with cooking with Tanya and then soon to be cooking with Ryan and Tanya, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Anyways, sure I hope you enjoyed the video, so make sure you like, like share, share and subscribe, and subscribe to, to our channel, channel if you want to see more videos. Bye! See you later.